Welcome back to Healthy Don't Hurt. My name is E-Man. It's your favorite ball headed YouTuber. Back with a new video that's hotter than an iron comb on a Sunday morning. So guys, today's video is about the Yeezy brand. Quite some time has passed since Kanye West has been canceled due to his uh, anti-Semitic comments about Judaism. Now we're going to take a look at his website. His website is called Yeezy.com. You guys can take a look at it too. Um, I have just looked at it as a glance. So we're going to go ahead and uh, look on Google. You know, So you guys are going to see my search history. Try to ignore all the big booty girls in my search history. You know, I put tried to put as much of my uh, filth away as possible. But uh, but yeah, man, I respect Kanye West as a <laughs> I'm an idiot. I respect Kanye West as a, a musician and even as a creative uh, as a creative mind. Dude really believes in himself, which I respect quite highly. I just think he uh, misuses a lot of his power. He could uh, position position it in a much more positive and productive way. But yeah, so this is the website is easy.com. This website, I'm gonna be real with y'all, it kind of sucks. Like this website is 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 a <laughs> it's an eyesore. But let's get into the brand <laughs> now. As you can see, man, these these shirts. I don't know what's up with the sleeves, right? It's giving '80s bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what's up with the sleeves, but, you know, for $20, would you guys buy this shirt? Everything on his website and his entire catalog is priced at $20 or less. Now, this is what the hoodies look like. The hoodies look normal. To me, this is just a black hoodie, right? Like, what is so special about just having a black hoodie? I mean, most hoodies, even, even in Marshalls is going to be more than twenty dollars. I'm pretty concerned about the uh, the the quality. I like this white hoodie on the right. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like the stitching. I like the logos. The one on the left, you can't even see the letters on the hoodie. So I'm really not feeling that. Um, it, he has a very interesting uh, taste in uh, in model selection because I don't think I would have picked this dude's uh this dude's look or his facial expression. I would have told him to smile. You're wearing my clothes, goddammit. Alright, so we got more shirts. I like this. This is dope. I can get jiggy with this. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. I can get down with that. For some reason the sleeves the the, the sleeves on the white shirts don't look nearly as bad to the human eye as the the black the black t shirts. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I guess he's selling sweatpants too. And they don't come all the way down. It looks like you're going to have like some, some bell bottom action <laughs> at the bottom, which, you know, kind of zesty, but whatever. I guess this is like their joggers. This is the Yeezy Gosha Black Dogs Jogger Heather Gray. I don't know. I don't hate the joggers. I might have to get me a pair. You know, I might have to rock these. I heard the shipping on these is absolutely terrible. I heard you won't get your clothes or your shoes for like two months, which I think is absolutely unacceptable in, our, in this Amazon Prime two-day shipping age that we live in, but it is what it is. So my man got the socks, you feel me? I like the socks. Socks are dope. The socks are dope. I could get jiggy with these socks. What do you guys think about these socks? I like the logo. I like the font. You feel me? The fabric seems pretty dope. These are just my observations without me actually being able to uh, to look at or to, to have it in my hand or to feel the material. Now, the black socks, for some reason, he has the white clothing down pat and the white um, accessories down pat. It's just the black clothes and the black accessories that I really just don't like for some reason. Like this... I, I just can't, bro. I can't justify this. I just can't. For $20, I just can't. And he said everything. You guys can see the price point. Everything is $20. Yeezy, Gasha, Black Dogs, Gray Socks. $20. I'm not paying $20 for a set of socks. Go kill yourself. I mean, go go play in traffic. Excuse my language. All right, we're going to take a look at this. Now, this, this woman probably looks very familiar to you guys. The reason being is that this is his wife. I think that this is so interesting that he uses his wife in this lighting, you know, and <laughs> look, look how naked she is, fam. And she's naked like on, like this on social media. I'm not sure why she's like this on social media. She just is, right? But it, it's also good that you don't have to pay other people for your brand. And if you really love your wife, you really love your family, you will include them 
in your business. So that's what he's doing. I can't knock the hustle. I just wouldn't want the world to see my tatas, my girl's tatas on my website. Now, this, I'm not sure if this is like some type of onesie. I don't know if women are expected to go outside looking like this. It's a no from me. I'm not letting my girl wear this. I actually wish that she was here because I could get her viewpoint on this. Um, I, I don't know. It, the, the the concept, the logo wet is pretty dope, right? Because it's like drippy, you feel me? But I just feel like it's it's exposing far too much, fam. Far too much. I mean, not to be zooming in on his wife's tatas, but we're examining. <laughs> we're examining. We're examining the clothing. Okay, so keep keep your eyes up here, fellas. Don't get too happy. Don't don't bust out the tissues in the lotion quite yet. It's not that type of party. <clears throat> but yeah, man. From me so far, my opinion is uh, he is doing great with white uh, with, with his white clothing line that, that are colored white. Um, except for this, his clothes and accessories that are black, I am not feeling at all whatsoever. But yeah, so it looks like this is this is his entire catalog so far. Um, and you can even, as you can see, Vultures 1, you can see his album at the bottom. It looks like he's trying to centralize not only his clothing brand, but his music, which, you know, power to him. You know, he's, he's, defeat, he's defeating the middleman. Um, he's, he's going straight from Kanye West directly to the consumer for music, clothing, and everything. He also has some shoes coming out um, also, which aren't on his website, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, what do you guys think of his clothing? Like I said, big fan of the white clothing and the white joggers, the white t-shirts, the white hoodies. The black, though, I'm not feeling at all, fam. I don't like his black clothes at all. Not a fan. Zero out of five. Okay, I could barely see the stitching of the logo and of the letters. Um, but yeah, man, it, it's, it's looking like a short, sweet, and to the point. It looks like he didn't do too much how he normally does. Um, I think, honestly, he is, he's definitely, um, he's definitely financing all of this with no help. I think that's why the website looks like this. That's probably why the clothing looks like this. And he probably went for simplicity because it's, this is strictly, um, this is strictly online. You can't get this from a retailer, um, in person. You can't go to the mall and get any of these clothes. So it makes sense. You know, he's kind of doing a rebrand, um, of Yeezy. He's starting from scratch. Who knows, you know, the, the sleeves, the sleeves that are cut at an angle, at a 45 degree angle, this might catch on, right? He is very trendy. He is a trendsetter. Kanye West, I would consider him to be, you know, a trailblazer for both fashion and music because he pushes the limit um, and he just goes outside of the box of the norm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I know a lot of bodybuilders. A lot of football players in the 80s and 90s wore their sleeves like this, up like that. Um, I don't know if this will catch you on. Let me know what you guys think. I like it. I like I like the white clothes. Um, even the black clothes with the white stitching I will buy. This is Yeezy.com, Kanye West's new concept. Please hit the like button too. Um, I think this is interesting as well because a lot of these designer brands, a lot of these designer brands, they're expensive fam i'm gonna be real with you and i kind of blame michael jordan because he came out with those jays man and you would be spending you know a car note sometimes for a pair of shoes which i think is absolutely ridiculous like clothing should be affordable whether it's designer whether it's uh you know uh, athletic apparel it shouldn't matter it's irrelevant the the category of the clothing should not matter we shouldn't have to lose an arm and a leg to buy your clothes, right? We shouldn't have to pay off a pair of shoes over the course of three months, you know? And unfortunately, you know, a lot of, when you're younger, you know, I, I fell a victim to this when I was younger. I would be in high school. I couldn't always get the nice pair of shoes, you know? I couldn't always, uh, my family couldn't always afford it. And there were a lot of other kids that were able to afford the Nike track suits, the Jordans, the Ken Griffey Juniors. And I had Chuck Taylors most of my uh, high school, you know, most of my high school life, I had Chuck Taylors, middle school, Chuck Taylors, because they only cost $40. And I used to get roasted. And it was sad. I mean, I didn't feel bad. Because we had a rapper from Pittsburgh named Wiz Khalifa, and he popularized uh, the Chuck Taylor shoe. And so by the time high school rolled around 10th or 11th grade, I stopped getting roasted for wearing Chuck Taylors. Because it, Taylor gang was very popular. 
the shoes became very popular. I mean, I didn't come become very popular because I was a nerd, as you can see. But um, but yeah, man, they stopped bullying me for my shoes and they chilled a little bit. But you know, it's not something that people should have to go through. And I'm gonna be real, bullying, bullying is whatever for real. I know a lot of people are like, bullying's not right. You know, I think it, it helped me. You know, me personally, I think bullying, um, it built some character. You feel me? <laughs> you know, them roasting me about my clothes, my teeth. You know, before I was bald, I had a bad hairline. All that made me the great man, the great confident man that I am today. Because it, it teaches you how to deal with people that don't like you without knowing you. It teaches you how to deal with difficult people. But, um, but yeah, man, if Yeezy was around when I was in middle school and high school, I might have not got made fun of as much. Who knows? You know, so he's kind of doing, uh, he's kind of doing a service for, you know, for people that are on low income or people that just make an average income as far as the, the parents are concerned. And they just have four or five kids. It can't really drop hundreds or thousands of dollars on school clothes. I think this is great. I think this is great. I mean, I think the clothes need a little bit of work. You feel me? I think, you know, there's a little bit of room for improvement. I like the concept. Hey, I, I, it gives me, I give them a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. It's the Yeezy brand. There are a lot worse brands out there. I'm going to be real with you as far as concept goes. I would not consider this an air ball. And uh, besides him putting his wife on, on the front page. I think this is a disaster, but it's your wife. It's not mine. You'll never catch my girl, my wife wearing this, my daughter wearing this. She's practically naked, fam. I'm going to be real with you. She's practically naked. I ain't going to lie. But, uh, but yeah, you guys have a good day. Let me know what you guys think about the Yeezy brand. Everything's $20. Yeezy.com. I'm out. Hit the like and sub button. Support your boy. You feel me? And don't forget to love yourself. Call your mama. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you got a disagreement with your brother, your sister, your homeboy, your homegirl, T tell them, tell them, tell them, I'm sorry. Make it right. Life is short. You know, tell your loved ones you love them. Try to do that thing you always wanted to do. Don't be scared, you know, because you never know how much time you have left. Take care. Bless up. Thanks for watching. Peace.